All right, so in this video, we're going to be taking a look at our brand new Makina pack, um, Makina Legends. So I'm going to show you what's in it and how to use it. And even if you don't have any production knowledge at all, follow along because I've made sure that it's so easy to piece a track together that anybody who's going to be able to do it with just a little bit of practice. So make sure you follow, follow along with what I'm doing. And I'm sure you'll be making some decent tracks in no time. So first of all, we're going to dive into the construction kits. And in here, we've got six different songs. So I'm just going to start at the top and show you what, what's inside. So we get the MIDI files. And this is the note data for the melodies and the bass. So if you drag them on, um, you can see the notes for the melody. Um, and if I drag this on, this will give me the pads. And I can run these through uh, my own instruments um, or samples. So I could use um, samples or VSTs. Um, or you can get the, the WAV loops out of here. And you can just drop these straight into your project. So before I drop any in, I'm going to change my project tempo to the tempo I'm going to be working in. I recorded these at 175 and then um, some of the others at different tempos, but these loops are time synced. So even if you change the tempo, it's still going to fit. So I'll just show you what I mean. Um, so we'll take this melody. And I'm going to go and drop that into my project now. Um, so now if I decide I want to be working at, uh, say, 166, you can see that it's not moved, it's still locked in, and it's adjusted the pitch so it still matches perfectly. And I'm going to drop one of the different ones in while I'm uh, still on 166, and we'll see what happens. And I'm going to grab this acid progression. Yep, so they're still all working perfectly. And then I can put this back up to 175. That will go even faster actually, I'll go up to 180. And you can see it's uh, adjusted them, but they're still locked in. Yep, and they're still working. So I'm going to go back to 175 now, just because that's the speed that I'd usually be working in. And then we've also got the bass, um, piano, uh, plucks. So I can drop these in. Uh, I'm going to mute the melody for now, and then you can hear some of the other parts. And we can adjust the volume of these, double click, and then we can just adjust the volume here. Or a little trick to get it nice and loud is uh, click normalize and that's going to get it to full volume. And then if you need to turn it down a bit, you can just turn it down. Um, so I could do the same with the acid. So with these parts, you could um, easily start laying them out. So I could say uh, maybe the piano should come in here. And then I'll just um, grab these bits and I'll just copy and paste them. And then I can drag them over here. And I'll just take the melody off. And now I'll move it over here. Um, and then we've also got the bass. Um, I've decided I'm going to get rid of that uh, pluck there. And I think I'll get rid of the acid there. And what else have we got? So 
So there's that melody, or I've got an alternative version. Uh, yeah, I'm going to stick with that one for now. Um, so now that we've got these main parts in, we can start combining it with other elements of the pack. So if we go into the loops here, we've got um, drum loops. And you can see how all these loops are uh, tempo synced, so there's no messing about trying to get them uh, in sync. They just uh, fit perfectly. Um, cymbals, so we've got like crashes, hi-hats. And these are all drag and drop, so that's why I'm saying this can be um, a really good way uh, for beginners to get into it. Because you don't need to know a lot, you just need to drop them in and then use your ears to see what sounds good and move them about to your own liking. Maybe just put the hi-hat in here, just to see what that sounds like. And um, what else have we got? Closed hi-hats, rides. Um, I'll go in percussion, there's some nice loops in here. These are a bit more technical in the percussion instead of just um, like single layers. These are like your break beats and they're old school sort of uh, drum loops. These uh, breakbeat loops are probably best to use when you haven't got the bass, or you can just use an EQ um, to cut the bass off them. So I'll just quickly whack on EQ2, and then I'm just going to take the bass off. Okay. And then moving on, we've got the snares here. So this is uh, your build-up snares. Yeah, fills. So I'll just pick one of these. Yeah, we'll start making this uh, the build-up. So I'm going to chop out these last little bits here. And this is going to be like the drop before it kicks in. So I can just drag these in from the from the side. Um, loops. So I've got some like sirens and bleeps and stuff. Um, we've got screeches here, if we want screeches. I'm going to leave them for now and I'm going to go into the effects and I'm going to start. Um, I'm going to have add a boom and then some uh, like rises and things to build up the energy. So we've got these 16-beat uh, ones, or we've got the 32-beat ones that cover the whole section. Um, I'm just going to chuck a few of these in randomly and then see what happens.
So I'm just going to copy these uh, drum elements back in here for the main uh, main kickoff section. Um, and then I just need a kick loop. Or you can uh, just make your own kick loop with the samples. It's in the samples. Um, we've got bass, kicks, leads and percussion. So if you don't want to use the loops, um, you can make your own stuff in there. Um, drum loops, kicks. We're going to get our hi hat, and here it is. And then we could put the percussion loop back in. I'll just uh, put it in the second half, see what that sounds like. <laughs> Actually, I've just realized we've got another melody for this. So I can just drop that in and then I can get rid of this one. Um, I'm not sure how that's going to transition. <laughs> Could, uh, we could filter that out, or this could probably happen later on in the track. And I'm just going to go and take the kick. Um, I take the kick, and then I'm just going to have a single kick here, and I can chop that by going down to a beat on the snap, and then I can just uh, fold it in. My uh, project's getting quite loud now. I can see it's going right up above here. So I'm just going to turn the master track down. Um, so I want it sitting below zero dB here. Um, so keeping it, you want to keep it around uh, minus 6 dB if you can and then that's going to make it um, better quality because as soon as you go over zero you're going to start clipping and distorting so you want it down about minus 6 and then that'll be good um, and you've got plenty of headroom for mastering when you export it. Okay, so after this, if I wanted to expand the track further, I would probably um, go into the midis. And then you could get the pads or the melody and then you could start tweaking it to make your own, um, like the next parts. So for example, I could drop the pads in um, and then I could run it through my own VST. So if, um, for example, like it doesn't matter what VST you use, you can just use any VST and then uh, mess about. So I'm just going to, I'll just pick the first one of the first one of this and see what happens. So I can just stick that in. Um. Carry the crashes on. Yeah, we could go and get that acid again. I'll turn this up a bit. Put the brake beats back in, maybe. Um, maybe that would go and get some 
screeches. I can filter some screeches in here. And then I could stick the screeches onto a mixer track and I could add a bit of uh, echo, a bit of delay. Make it a bit trancier. Yeah, so uh, that's basically it with uh, working with the um, working with the construction kits. Um, but there's another <clears throat> there's another five of them to get stuck into. Um, so I'm just going to get rid of this. And then again, we've got all the uh, similar sort of stuff in each of these. So just change the tempo again. 175. Um, I'll go for something quite different. We'll see what this one's like. I'm going to go for this last one because this is uh, the last one was quite northeasty, but this one's uh, more Spanish style. So we'll get the pads. Um, we've got two pianos to choose from here. So I'll try both of them. So that piano is uh, quite slow, and then this next one's a bit more technical. And then we've got the acid. Classic uh, Spanish style melody and roll bass. And I think I'll go get some claps as well. And why not stick a boom in as well? Quite Spanishy sounding that one, um, and then we'll just get the crashes. And then I'd carry that on with, so that's just a solo melody. I'd uh, go and get the main melody. <clears throat> we'll have another boom here and then we'll make this the build up. So I'll just copy the crash again, but I'm gonna just use the second half because this has got the, the faster crashes at the end. Um, what else have we got? I need a snare build up. That one should be all right. And then um, we'll get a riser. Um, and we'll get a down sweep as well. Check that out. Right, 
Right, there we go. So that's the run through of using the construction kits. Um, and then there's also all the separate um, samples here. So we've got bases, we've got northeast bases, um, like sub to mid sort of bounty bases, um, Spanish bases. Uh, kicks, leads, percussion, all sorts to dive into. Um, and you can grab the taster pack off our website as well. It's got some parts from these uh, construction kits, so you can check out the quality yourself and just drop them into your, your project and have a listen.